Jump, and this is Mem's Today we, we will become the reporters and discover what the foreigners think about the cultures, the cuisine, and the festival in Kanta City. And first of all, to introduce about Kanta. Kanta is one of the five centuries governed cities in Vietnam, and this is the most bustling and developed city in the Mekong Delta, serving as the region's economy culture, social, medical, educational, and commercial hub. And therefore, this city has many cultural highlights, uh, rich and diverse dishes, and it hosts numerous music, local festivals, uh, and these factors make a control appealing to uh, international tourists. And we will be having a conversation with foreign guests to delve into their impressions about Gangha culture, festivals, and cuisine. Uh, before we begin, uh, let's quickly to go over what we have planned. A quick section about their impressions of Kangkong's culture, festivals, and cuisine, and a funny mini game about their favorite dishes in Vietnam, especially in Kangkong. Now let's get started! Yay! 15 minutes later. Okay, so what's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Rico. My name is Rico. I am from the Netherlands. Oh, so how long have you been in Gangha? I have been in Gangha for two years now. Oh, two years. Uh, okay, and I'll give you a, a long question about Gangha. Okay. Sure, yes. Okay, so for first, um, when you first came to Gangha, what impressed you the most? Uh, I mean, about the people, the cuisine, the history, or the culture? Uh, the first time I came to Gangha was actually seven years ago mm -hmm. when I was traveling. Yes, and at that time I met uh, a lot of university students who were very eager to learn English. Uh, so when I met them, I be became friends, and that's actually the reason why I wanted to come back to the Ah, yes. For people, you know? Yes. Ah, okay. Hi, I have a question more. I just had to ask me one foot uh, in Qatar to the other visitor to Qatar City. I think everybody who has been in Gangha should try the pho over here. Pho? Pho? Yes. Oh, so why is that? Because it's a very traditional uh, meal, I think. Yeah, it's very famous for it. Okay, first one is pho. Uh, and mu I will choose mu bao. Mu Yes. Wow. And next one is mu bao and mu I never eat Udang, so I have to go for Udang. Yeah, Udang. And the next one here, Udang and Tansen. Yeah, I like it to eat it now and then. Yeah, Udang is very special meal. Yeah. So for my daily life, I like Udang. Yeah, that's it. Udang. Yes, and next one here, Udang and Udang. That's one. It's also a special meal for me. And usually when I eat Udang, and we go out with friends, yeah. we have a meal together, so I think it's more fun than yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and last one is Lamont and Mante. Mante? Also special. <laughs> uh, no, I still choose for eating with my friends, uh -huh. so the winner will be Lamont. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, bye! 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 And a tears later. Hi! Hello! Hi. How are you today? I'm good! How are you today? My name is Mr. D. What's your name? My name is Hi, Jung. Okay, and now where are you from? I'm from Kanta. And uh, how long have you? Oh, you're from Kanta? I'm from Kanta. Oh my god. I've been here for many years. Oh, for many years, okay. okay. And I just want to ask you some questions about Kanta. Okay, yes. Because, uh, when you first come to Kanta, yes. what impressed you the most? I think it was the people and how friendly they were. Oh, yeah. Oh, so no. was, um, I worked at a language center and everyone there was very kind and happy and, and wanting to help you and hear from Oh, yes. oh, hi, this is me. Hi, Nay. Oh, yes. Uh, and I want to ask you about food in the third. If you had to choose one food to, in the third to recommend for all the visitors, which uh, food do you want? Well, I would recommend Banse. Oh. Because Kanta is known for having good Banse. Oh. Yeah. I, I used to go to two or three different places for that, and it's delicious. Now, I have a festival. Oh, I just yes. want to ask about are there any recreational activities or festival held in Kanta that you haven't had a chance to experience? Yes. yes. I haven't been to the cake festival. Oh. The traditional cake festival. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, for your love. I know, so many delicious foods. Yeah. I haven't tried it. Yeah. 
about you. Maybe you can take me there next time. Oh, yeah, 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 that would be great. Okay, uh, the first part is Pansel uh, and Bundao. Bundao, Pansel. I think Pansel. Pansel. Mm -hmm. uh, and the next one is Pansel and Pho. Pho. Pho and Pho. Pho and Pho. Pho and Pho. Pho and Pho. Yes. Pho and Pho. Pho Yes. And uh, do, you, uh, do you know Lao Ma? Lao Ma? Yes, yes. Pho and Lao Ma. Pho. Pho. And the next one is Pho and Pante. It's not my favorite. Oh, I can eat it, but not my favorite. So why do you choose pho? Because pho is delicious. It has lots of fresh vegetables that you can put in. So thank you for your help. No problem. Goodbye. Thank you. Be happy. Later. Wow, thank you this medium, and now we have much better understanding of fragrances and culinary taste of foreigners in Vietnam and especially in Koto City. That's awesome, and uh, personally, I can find that fermented fish hot pot to have a rather unique and strong flavor, so it's not for everyone, but uh, it's still an incredibly appealing dish for our international friends in Koto. To try it, don't you think it? Oh, of course, I realize a uh, flower is an order traditional dish that really leaves a lasting impression after just one serving it can make them a special taste of, of Vietnamese cuisine. Finally, the country sides with its rich culture, vibrant festival, and mouth-watering cuisine, making it a top destination for both local and international travelers. Once again, I'm John. I'm Yi. Your report today. That's the end of our report. And now, thank you for watching and see you! Goodbye.